Hello everyone. This is the numbers why I recommend to upload in Google Drive or Facebook or MS Teams instead of in iStudy directly, especially for big files either from the teacher or from the student as a requirement or as a resource or as uh, an assignment so let's see the explanation let me just cover my face so you hear less of the interference from outside my mask so if you have 3000 students averaging seven classes uh, submitting 24 uh, one assignment per week for the whole semester 24 weeks and the default Moodle uh, allowance is 20 megabytes per assignment if you multiply that a times b times c times d equals this is megabytes this is gigabytes and this is terabytes and, uh, so that is 10 terabytes per semester needed not only that of course you have to have a hard disk for that and you don't only buy one hard disk you buy two of them for redundancy because serious things you have to have redundancy you cannot just buy one hard disk if the hard disk fails then you lose 10 terabytes that's not uh, serious you have to have redundancy either two hard disk or four hard disks or more depending on how important the data is and not only that you have to have a backup redundancy is live data mirrored data backup is non-live data but non-live data older data but older version so if you corrupt your current data you can still restore the backup data because if you corrupt the redundancy both of them are corrupted unintentionally so you can go back and roll back to the old backup data the question is how many backups do you need in iolis and in iStudy we back up our database every hour every hour of course we have permanent backups for every day so that's how we compute uh, things not only that you have to keep those hard disks running you have to hard keep those hard disks running you need power for those and you have to keep them cool they last longer if they are run cooler and you have and what's a hard disk for if it's not accessible via the network so you have to have internet bandwidth and the bandwidth cannot be only small how many people do you expect the how many people do you expect to access that data concurrently so you have to compute how many lanes it's like in a grocery how many lanes do you have okay and then and then i'm recording and then so uh, if you use Google Drive, they give you 15 gigabytes of 15 gigabytes. If you have 15 gigabytes for 3,000 students, that's 45 terabytes. Google is lending us 45 terabytes for free. They take care of the disks they take care of backups google has a standard three redundancy that means if you lose your data there are two other <coughs> remote locations that have the same data and they also take care of the tape backups and they power their data centers near the waterfalls near the power source so there is less expense in transporting the electricity they cool their data centers 
how they put their data centers in a cool location where they only need to run the aircon two days a year. How about Manvit? They have plenty of fibers going to all of the ISPs. And concurrency, it is designed as a content delivery network where many people, millions of people can access the same data and they cache their data so it's a good network it is so this is why we always encourage the big files to be uploaded in a cdn like google drive or like facebook if it's a video in youtube and just share the link in moodle so that we can have more efficient use of the global bandwidth and more reliable and uh, yeah, just uh, common sense in the network. I hope that helps us understand how things are in this internet. Thank you.